situ builds and produces unmanned aerial vehicles. Um, we do the manufacturing of the aircraft as well as ground control stations, uh, software that flies the planes and that controls the payloads that we put on the aircraft. Some of the processes that our mechanical engineers handled in the past uh, had them following processes through email chains and going through a design process for changes to drawings and routing that through an email review cycle, which is impossible to capture metrics, impossible to um, determine where, where rework is happening and where things are breaking down. And it's, it's, it's possible to do business that way, but it's not efficient, it's not scalable. So in order to grow to be a large company that really dominates the market, you need to be able to capture those processes in a tool so that everybody follows those the same way, so that it's more efficient and that we can really grow and scale as a company. What Aris Innovator provides is a one-stop shop. It provides a single source of truth for a bill of material that follows all the way through the life cycles, product life cycle management, across all the, as, as I stated, the as designed, as, as delivered, and, and most importantly, as end of life. Every device has that, and you have that capability within one tool in Aris Innovator. With any application, you want to stay current with the technology. So the vendor um, makes upgrades because they've either enhanced their product or they've fixed defects. Um, and so the reason to stay current with what the vendor is, is providing is so that you can take advantage of new capabilities that they've introduced. And you actually get upgrades as part of the subscription. This is unheard of in this industry, and I'm here to tell you by experience. It's very costly to do an upgrade with other vendors. Aris definitely has the, the burden of the work in an upgrade. They, and that's one of the, you know, that's one of the market differentiators for Aris, right? Is that they do the upgrades for you because that's not the business model for very many PLM vendors. Our product is designed to be upgraded. So if you take a look under the covers about the way the product is developed, the way we develop it internally, the way we develop our own features, we develop it in a way that encourages and supports fast iteration. And so we've brought that same approach to upgrades with our customers. So there's four key things you want to th pay attention to if you want to have a successful upgrade. The, the first one is comes before the project begins, and that's upfront planning. Figure out what you need to do. Figure out what your resources are you're going to need to have. The second thing that's important, of course, is knowing what your definition of done would be. And that would be by having well-written test cases, you know, things that are well-documented so you know exactly what needs to be working. The third thing, and you take advantage of number two with the third one, is, is let us run the, uh, the test cases before you see anything. Essentially, this is the pretest that, that ARIS does. The last one, of course, happens before the project and during the project, and that's regular communication. Emails or talking, but make sure we don't go more than a few days without talking um, about the status of where we are. Strong project management was, was really important to the success of this upgrade. Um, we had a lot of challenges that we anticipated at the start of the project. During the upgrade process, we had planned for three to four separate deployments on our production environment while the ARIS team was configuring our upgrade. And that was only possible because the in situ team and the ARIS team had a coordinated effort and knew those things were coming. Based on the work that we had done with in situ several years ago, we learned a lot about things that didn't work. <laughs> and so we focused on how do we reduce the overall effort on the in situ team? How do we bring more of this in on our side of things so that we can eliminate extra work, extra steps, extra passing information back and forth, and mostly reduce the load on the in-situ team for the testing and the final qualification for deployment. We now take a set of tests that the customer will provide and we run them one time before we deliver anything to the customer. The hope is that when we deliver something, I'm not going to find everything because I don't know everything that the customer does and, and no test plan is 100% complete, but, but we get all the big issues and, and hopefully things is relatively stable so we're concentrating on our testing going forward from there on things that are really unique to the customer that you need a knowledge of how, how a customer uses it. 
I think the biggest difference is the with the Ares upgrade team, we really provided them with a copy of our production environment and our database and then said, here's our content, can you please upgrade this to the latest service pack? And then to have that come back from the Ares team for us to test, but to not have to be involved in actually performing the upgrade was the biggest difference. When the time came to do this upgrade, we had a new process in place. We laid that process out for them and said, here's the way that we're going to go through this. Here are the steps that we're going to take and laid that out in advance so the in situ team could see that, know what the steps were that we were going to go through, and then they could plan, assign their resources, and set up their test facilities because there's a lot of this work that we can do, but before it's finally done, we have to pass it off to the in situ team, and they need to do the testing on our side to make sure that things are ready. It's really been great working with Institute. We've learned a lot from them, and, and, and you see what we've learned in some of the recommendations we make, and the benefits are seen by the customers who follow some of those key points we've talked about. They can save as much as like 25 or 35 percent, maybe even more, in terms of time spent on doing an upgrade. And even as you know, the customers, their systems get larger, the number of users they have get greater, we're still going to be able, we're going to be able to scale with them, and we're going to be able to continue to keep these the kind of quick projects that everybody would like to see. The future with uh, Eris and in situ is, is glowing uh, and growing with new capabilities being introduced, capabilities that actually can impact our company and impact the bottom line is what we're looking for in the future. Our roadmap includes new capabilities. Eris has purchased a couple of companies' capabilities in MRO and simulation that are needed here at in situ. So I see the future as being very bright for both.